What is up boys and girls, in this video I'm gonna show you how I refactor code and I'm gonna basically refactor code I wrote myself a couple videos ago. It's about the cat fact where we are uh, fetching um, facts about cats from uh, an API and store it into our Mongo database. So uh, I'm gonna refactor the code because there is a lot of things we can improve. So I'm gonna take you on my journey and show you how I do that stuff. But before we continue, if you like the videos I'm providing because I'll still 50% of my viewers are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, uh, ring the notifications bell, put some comments, some questions in the comments and jump into the Discord community. Let's go. So basically, uh, we have this um, cat fact thingy, right? So uh, I'm not gonna run it because uh, there is no logging that can show some things that are happening. So basically, we have a server here. Um, we have uh, a handler, which is basically uh, grabbing all the cat facts. We um, have a worker, which has a Mongo client and all that stuff. So basically, a lot of hard-coded stuff here, and um, we don't want that. So the first thing what I'm going to do is basically this Mongo client, right? So we have this Mongo client in our server, and we also have this Mongo client in our uh, cat worker. So basically what happens is that um, there is a very hard dependency, right? And dependency is basically that Mongo client. What if we want to swap it out with, I don't know, uh, Postgres, MySQL, I don't know, something else, then we are in big trouble, we need to rewrite the whole shebang each time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make uh, an interface, and let me uh, do this real quick here for you guys. Let's do this, boom, main, bam, right? It's gonna be nice, nice and thick for the blind homies. So we're gonna say type, we're gonna say storage, uh, we're gonna call this an interface, right? We're gonna make this an interface, and we're gonna, what do we do? We're grabbing cat facts and we're storing. So we're gonna say get all, right? And we don't have a cat fact type, right? Because right now we're using this BSON M, which is basically just, um, yeah, a map. So we're gonna say a cat fact, which is gonna be a structure. And what do we need here? I think it returns us uh, facts, which is gonna be a string. And we are gonna basically say something like uh, BSON be some and that's gonna be man let me quickly fix my uh, keyboard here it's still on end yes it's fine so we're gonna say be some uh, and that's gonna be fact uh, just like that and then we're gonna say the length which is also being returned length and that's gonna be an integer and that's gonna be the length right just like that so that's our cat fact. So if we get all, uh, we wanna return a slice of pointers to this cat fact. Uh, you could also do no pointer, it is what it is. Uh, cat fact, and then we're gonna return an error, right? Some idiomatic go here, boom. And then we're gonna say put. And put is gonna basically return us an error. And it's going to store uh, a cat fact. Just like that. So we have a storer interface, pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is make uh, the first implementation of that interface and it's gonna be a Mongo uh, store. So we're gonna say type Mongo store is a structure. And we're gonna say that this has a client, right? And this client is gonna be a pointer to a Mongo client. We're gonna have a database, which is gonna be a string. And we're gonna have a collection, which is gonna be a string. Boom, just like that. Then we're gonna say func. Uh, a constructor here, we're gonna say new mongo store. Uh, we're gonna give... Um, are we gonna hard code it? Maybe, maybe. Let's, let's do this. Uh, it's gonna be... It's gonna return a mongo... A mongo store. Yes, man, I'm confused. No, my bad. What's going on here? Mongo store and an error, right? And then, because we're gonna create a client inside of this thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically grab this shebang here, delete that, go back to top, and we're gonna say here uh, that the client and the error is gonna be a Mongo connect. We're gonna return. Uh, in this case, we're gonna return null and an error, right? And then uh, we're gonna say, return me and mongo store that the client of this thing is gonna be the client we just created and we're gonna say that the database is gonna be in this case um what do we use actually let me see 
cat fact and facts that's fine we're gonna say cat fact and like i said that you can you can go even deeper and the fact that it's even better right but hey make it work make it better make it fast and do it gradually otherwise you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot then we're gonna say the collection is gonna be facts it's fine and we don't return an uh, error in this case uh, what we also could do is this uri you could also instead of hard coding this uh, provide a config or something but hey like i said that's going to be the second pass right the second uh, refactor pass so we have this mongo store is fine um then this server this client we're going to delete that is going to be a storage which is going to be a storage right going to be an interface instead of this mongo client we're going to say s uh storage uh store is going to be this s thingy fine uh before we actually going to delete this we're going to say mongo store here we're going to implement these things we're going to say func we're going to call this ms from mongo store actually you could do store to be honest it doesn't really matter or s even uh let's make it store it's going to be a mongo store mongo store we're going to say get all and we're gonna return here uh, a slice to point the cat fact and an error. What's going on here? My bad. Still rusty. All right. So get all. So how we're gonna do this is basically let's see how we fix these things here. So we get all facts, which is we have a collection. We're gonna copy this, paste it in here. Uh, we can already factor this. It's gonna be store client database, and that's gonna be store database and the collection. Is going to be store uh, collection. What you also could do is basically store this collection directly in your Mongo uh, store struct. Eh. All these things is, the, are fine. Then we have a query here. We're going to copy that thing. I'm going to paste it in here. Right? Uh, we're going to call find. All that stuff is fine. Uh, if there is an error, we're going to return null errors here. Then we have this cursor. <coughs> then we have results. We're going to copy that stuff also. We're going to paste it in. But these results are not anymore a slice of uh, bison. It's going to be a slice of uh, cat facts, right? Uh, just init initialize this like this. Uh, return null r, And then in this case, we're going to return the results, which are going to be this cat facts stuff and null, right? Let's dance it up. All right, that's cool. That's get all. Um, so what we're going to do here, we can, you see it's already a little bit uh, cleaner. So we're going to say s store. Actually, we're going to say cat facts. What's going on here, man? We're going to say cat facts error is going to be s store get all. Right? So you can see it's going to be an s store get all. In this case, uh, it depends if we place, if we put an, uh, a Mongo store into the server, it's going to use Mongo. If we make another implementation, for example, um, Postgres or, or something else, it's going to use that implementation. So we can swap these things out as we want. Even for tests, if you make an in-memory simple implementation, you can use that in your test so you don't need to have the overhead connecting to all that shenanigans uh, in your test, right? So if there is an error in this case, we want to basically return a nice JSON response. But uh, hey, like I said, we're going to call this. We're going to basically just do a log fatal out and see if you have time to make this cleaner. Uh, so the video is not too long. So we're going to just do this log fatal add and call it a day. So then we have cat facts here. And then what we're going to do instead of doing the results, we're going to say actually, um, hey, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's, let's call it cat facts. Boom. So this is already done. Do we need to do something more in our storage? Probably not. The next thing we need to refactor is this cat fact worker because we are spinning up a cat fact worker, which is basically pulling the endpoint, grabbing, fetching cat facts, putting into the Mongo store. And then we have our own JSON API, which will retrieve them. Uh, but we need to also refactor that. The same thing, this cat fact worker, let's do a store. And that's gonna be a storage, right? Storage, just like that. Um, it's not gonna have a client. It's going to have a storage as storage and this is going to be a store which is going to be an s hey if you don't like that let's do store just like that all right um we have the next thing we're going to implement is our put right so we have this handle get all thingy let's actually let's type it out you're going to say func 
store, mongo store, put, uh, fact, pointer, cat fact, error, and now we're gonna say, we're gonna grab, um, where are we doing this? Here. This is the collection. Let's delete this guy. Uh, place this in. Here is going to be a store client database. Uh, maybe we should actually database like that. Uh, make it better here because right now we need to do this uh, database collection stuff. You could actually do that initialization so you have the collection ready to go. But um, hey, that's a choice you can make. Um, okay, so we have this ticket here, fine. Uh, okay, this is also a problem, right? This hard-coded stuff. So what we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna say this cat fact worker, we're gonna have an API endpoint, right? It's gonna be a string. And we're also gonna specify this here. So we're gonna say uh, API endpoint string. And we're gonna say that the API endpoint is, of course, the API endpoint we're gonna give it. API endpoint, that's cleaner. So we're gonna delete this and gonna say as uh, CFW API endpoint, like that, perfectly fine. What is this here for shenanigans? We're gonna get this. Uh, JSON new decoder. Um, this is gonna be a cat fact. Yes, then we're gonna decode that into that cat fact, perfectly fine. We're gonna copy this shenanigans place it into our mongo put thingy here hop so we're gonna say um, this is the fact context to do insert one is gonna return as a response and an error so what we're gonna do is just return this error right we don't care about this response Yes, yes, yes. And then in this case, we need to store this guy. So we're gonna say uh, if r is gonna be sfw, C cfw, store, what's this man? If r is gonna be cfw, store, put that cat fact. And I think we need a pointer to that cat fact. So we're gonna do this. And the error is not nil. We're gonna return the error, right? That's the thing. So I think we're Gucci. So the next thing we need to do is basically create a store. We're gonna say, uh, actually let's call it Mongo, Mongo store. Uh, error is gonna be new Mongo store. What we need to specify is, I have no clue what we need to specify, nothing probably. If R is gonna be not no. We're gonna be, we do a log fatal out here, fatal R. Right, then we have this Mongo store type. Uh, new cat fact work, cat fact work is going to be a Mongo store, right? There is some problem because I think we need an API endpoint. It's going to be HTTPS double point slash slash colon slash slash cat fact dot ninja. We are, we, we is making these things, man. It's crazy. Uh, slash fact, I think. We have the worker. That's fine. Then we have our new server. We need also the Mongo store, right? Mongo store. <coughs> and it's all good. Okay, so... Let's see if everything is fine. I think it's all good. Uh, can we test this real quick? Go run main.go. Uh, open up Tinder client. And let's do some HTTP shenanigans. A local host 3000. Uh, I think we call this facts. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so we have some facts here, right? You can see it. Although my camera is in the way a little bit. So uh, we have at, we, we are at point seventy four, and I think we are already d that deep into cat facts because um, yeah, it's my my MongoDB already had it. So we're gonna do it again and see if we have cat facts. Yes, we have a lot more, right? So it's it's basically working and uh, it's working fine. Right. The only thing that's basically a problem is that you can see fact and length are basically capitalized, and that's because um, how can I close this thing? Let's delete this. Actually, should leave it open. <clears throat> is because we um, have this decent thing. And I'm thinking, how can I actually do, can I do this? Uh, just a question, actually, that I don't know. JSON is going to be fact, and in this case, JSON is going to be length. 
and please let this work because I don't know if this is gonna work we can't uh, how does it work then is it like this Beesome fact. I have no clue. So, but I know you can do two of these things, right? Uh, where you can have the um, the Beeson and the JSON in in your struct tags. I have no clue, guys. Uh, excuse me for that stuff. But the thing is, if you make a, a nice uh, JSON, if you can figure it out how to do that real quick, um, you can have your small caps JSON response. Uh, and next thing, with what we maybe could do uh, real quick, because we have some time left, is. Um, Maybe we could do something like this, call real quick, and it's gonna be, not quite sure, this is gonna be improvisation. It's gonna be a pointer, I think, Mongo collection, is it true? Like that. And if we make a new Mongo store, what we could do is do something like this, call. It's gonna be think it's gonna be a client database wait let me first do this heat right let me copy this real quick and uh, we're gonna say this is the collection right uh, which is gonna be get fact the collection is gonna be facts right and then instead of doing these shenanigans we could do something like um, actually let, let, let's leave it here just do backwards compatibility and the collection is going to be this, call. Is that a thing? Okay, of course, this is gonna, not going to work. We're going to say client. All right, it's working perfectly fine. And then instead of doing, um, for example, with the put here, instead of doing store client database collection, we could actually delete this and um, call store call directly on this thing. All right, and the same thing here. Let's comment this out. Um, and do this, right? Store call find. Let's delete it and see if it's gonna work perfectly fine. Go run main dot go. And now I need to retype this whole shebang once again. HTTP colon slash slash local host three thousand facts. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the same thing, which is nice, right? You see, it's working perfectly fine. One sixty six. Let's go do it again. Scroll down. Boom. One. 78 so that's uh, also a way to do it basically um let's leave it let's uh, leave everything in so yeah i think this refactor is basically how you should do you should always use interfaces where you can don't basically uh hard code urls although in our mongodb here we also have a hard coded url but um yeah, most of the time it's going to be a local hosting, uh, but hey, that's no excuse. You should actually also provide some kind of a config. But this is basically the first pass on how to refactor things. Try to uh, never hard code your data layers, uh, use interfaces and all that stuff. Right. So uh, I hope you had something about this video. Uh, if you like the content I'm providing to you, consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some questions in the comments. Ring the notifications bell and jump into the Discord. And I see you. I'm looking forward to see you in one of my future videos or live streams. Peace.